right, yeah, brother, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Denali, a.k.a. Don Squally. If you guys ain't know, now you know, man. Um, in this one, like I say, this week, we are wrapping up. Gonna be the final week for Forza Horizon 3 build videos. So look up that Motorsport 7 car list. Let me know what cars you guys want to see for next week for, from Forza Motorsport 7. I'm stoked to be playing it, man. But next week, man, we're going to be getting into those builds. Um, but for today's video, I'm thinking we're going to take another request, man. And this one is coming from a whole bunch of people on YouTube, man. Cahill Nichols, Country Boy 44, K. Kington, Nebula Games, The Dumb Star. Austin Hoppenrath, Scooter and Car Videos, Cameron Stone, John Harrington, Great Gamer 735, Hamza Elsawaf, Ed Niper, Drift King, Jack Duffy, Salmon Crane, Nexus 834, Rip Bros, Tyler B, Jack Mondari, AJ Games slash Vlogs and Zahan Johnson all want to see Tanner Brongart's Rose Gold Audi R8 build. Now, I'm not going to lie, man. Just seeing this one pop up on the channel, I knew that this car had to be, uh, you know, like a brand new wrap on it, which from my, what I gathered, it definitely is. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is obviously buy up an Audi R8. Find some way to wrap this thing rose gold. Now, I'm not even sure if that's an option in this game, but we're going to try to get it as close as we can. You guys know I try to please the people when I can. Um, now, I know that uh, Tanner has the V10. Now, I'm not exactly sure which model. It does look like this model right here uh, because the wheels are pretty much identical to what's on Tanner's car. So we're gonna go ahead, buy this bad boy up. Uh, right off of the bat, we're just gonna pick a manufacturer color. I'm gonna go with red. I think red's a nice color. So we're gonna go ahead, buy with credits, and obviously get started with this build. Now right off of the bat, we're gonna jump into the upgrade section. Now, I'm not gonna get too carried away with the mods on this one, but I do wanna just check out a couple of our conversion options. Definitely going to be sticking with rear wheel drive or all wheel drive, I should say, on this bad boy. Um, and the stock naturally aspirated motor, I think, is going to be the best choice for this one. Um, now, exterior wise, from what I can see right now, Tanner does not have any, any exterior wing splitter. The wheels, from what I can see, are stock. So we're going to go ahead and leave the wheels stock as well. But one thing I'm going to do is just throw a race tire compound on here. Now, the thing about doing YouTuber builds is everybody always, oh, he's got this, he's got, man, when I build these videos, at the point of this video being built, these are all the things that he has, stock wheels, I'm just upgrading the tire because I think it's definitely going to help once we get out there, um, as far as the clutch goes, we're going to upgrade that, transmission, we're going to definitely take care of the transmission, and that differential, I think we'll leave the differential the way it is for the uh, time being. Now, as far as suspension goes, I'm just going to lower this sport springs and dampers uh, on the first level just not to get it too crazy low. I do want it to look nice, uh, but I also, you know, I want it to look similar to what Tan, uh, Tanner has done to his car. Um, now, intake wise, we're going to go ahead and upgrade that. And the exhaust definitely has an exhaust on this car. And that's pretty much it, man. Um, I don't want to stir too far away from the original product. So we're going to go ahead and save this the way that it is. And now that we got that out of the way, we're going to do some tuning. Now, one thing that I did see, um, I just want to, oh, because we did the, we can't even adjust the springs. Imagine that, Squally. Hey, there's a reason for everything, I guess. Uh, I guess we're just going to jump right into the paint car section. Now, I'm going to try to find this rolls gold here. Rolls gold, the rose gold. Uh, I know there is a gold in this game. Brass, copper polished, advanced camera. Now there's no option. Oh, we have this, the chrome. We can tint it. We can tint the chrome. So I guess tinting the chrome might be 
the way to go. So I'm going to go ahead and just tint this and try to add a little bit of red into this bad boy. <coughs> And now that we got that on there, this is actually looking pretty close, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pretty happy with the way that that turned out. Um, now, the window tint, we're going to go ahead and throw that on there. And these wheels look almost to be a little bit gray. I'm going to try to find a matte gray here and just add that in there just for the effect. Mind you, they don't really look matte. So I guess we'll go with like a... Uh, I guess we'll go with this light black, or the light gray, light black. As you can see, it's not painting the entire wheel, so I guess uh, this has got to be a custom paint job on Tanner's wheels here. But everything else looking very good, man. And now that we got that out of the way, I think we are just about ready to hit the road with this rose gold Audi R8, man. Now before we do that, let's just go ahead and get a little 360. The reflection of that black building definitely... Um, not giving us the full potential potential for this rose gold paint. Hopefully when we get out a little farther away, this will uh, lighten up a little bit. Inside, it looks so perfect. Um, but nonetheless, we're going to take this thing out for a little bit of a rip. I guess you just got to be in a very well lit up area for that rose gold to really shine. Hitting the speed trap. A little bit uh, pathetic there, but just coming off road. Just coming from off the road here. Let's take this little windy road here. I'm more interested to see how this thing performs as opposed to just the wrap. I mean, the wrap is pretty cool, but... We build a lot of crazy cars on the channel sometimes, and it's uh, sometimes fun just to see what a relatively stock car can do on the road compared to some of the other stuff that we build here. Um, handles very nice, actually. The transitions from side to side, very easy, very grippy. Not a whole lot of power. I feel like the uh, the R33 that we built before this one would probably take it. Oh! Hitting that Raptor. Get a little interior view here. I love these back roads from inside. Really makes you feel like you're driving the car. Used to be one of my favorite things to do back in the day when Test Drive Unlimited first came out. Uh, before there was a Horizon 3. And those were just the days, man. Just cruising around in a dope car. You know, chilling with guys online. Even you guys were you're just cruising around, man. Enjoying yourselves, having a good time. Forza Horizon 3 still has that aspect as well. But it's uh, it wasn't quite as pure as uh, Test Drive was back then. It was, you know, it was just very simple, modding. Uh, just a simpler time, I guess, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just all uh, say, say a moment for Test Drive Unlimited. May it rest in peace. Uh, you know, it, it died at that second uh, Test Drive Unlimited, in my opinion, man. It, I got the game with high expectations. I read online that it was a new developer developing the game, so the physics, everything was going to be different. It was. It was, it was quite disappointing. Uh, I don't think I played that game probably not a third as much as I played uh, the original Test Drive Unlimited. No, was it? No, what were we talking about? Test Drive Unlimited? Yeah, was it? Test Drive Unlimited? I think that's what it was. Ironically, though, when you did do the test drives, uh... They were not unlimited. You were actually limited. Like, the, the game's called Test Drive Unlimited. But then when you're in the dealership, test drive in the car, I think it only gave you, like, two minutes to actually drive the car around and decide whether you liked it. So that was a little bit weird. Just one of the little uh, fun facts for the afternoon. But it is time to fast travel back to the city and find ourselves a nice spot to take our thumbnail here. Now I'm just gonna get some little ex exterior view happening. And uh, let's just pull off the side of the road here and see if we can get a nice 
Nice shot with the sun gleaming on this uh, beautiful rose gold chrome on this bad boy. Um, so as always, you guys, let me know what you thought of this video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys want to see more and you're not subscribed yet, um, you know, definitely do so, man, because we're doing this type of thing all the time. And with that being said, I am your boy, d Nolly, a.k.a. Don Squally. I just want to say thank you guys for watching, and we're going to catch y'all at the next one, man. Peace. Oh, oh. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh!